and I want to scale it in the Y. So I'm going to press S to scale Y for the Y axis and zero just to flatten that out. Okay. I'm just going to drag this back slightly. Okay. That's not looking too bad. I can press Alt H to bring everything back. I'm going to press three and press Z and left select wireframe. Okay, I'm just going to press A to deselect everything. I'm going to press and hold Alt and left select this back edge that we're working on. Now I'm going to press E to extrude and just drag this back slightly. I'm going to press S and scale this up and left click to lock it in. And I'm just going to keep an eye on the vertices here. They're starting to merge to the center. So I'm just going to press, I'm going to press control tab and left select vertex. Just going to grab this here and drag it away from the center. Okay, now I'm just going to press select the center, center one and just drag it up. And I might just select these again and drag them up slightly and maybe a little away as well. Okay, I'm going to press control tab again and left select edge. I'm going to press, press and hold alt, left select this back edge. Just going to roll the mouse wheel just to zoom out slightly. Okay. I'm going to press E to extrude and extrude back and maybe increase this by pressing S and Z. Just open it up. Okay. Left click to lock that in. I'm just going to press and hold shift and the middle mouse button just to pan. I'm going to press E to extrude and extrude this back. Okay, left click to lock that in. I might just press S to scale this down slightly. Okay, left click to lock it in. I'm going to press E to extrude again. And just drag this back. I'm going to press R to rotate. Okay, rotate slightly. And left click to lock that in. I'm going to press E to extrude again. And just drag it down. Left click, lock that in. I'm going to press R to rotate. Okay, left click to lock that in. I'm just going to come over here to the front view. It's a little bit wide, so I'm going to press S to scale and X for the X axis just to scale that in. Okay, I'm going to come back over here and just press S and scale the whole lot down. I'm going to press R now to rotate. Left click to lock that in. And one last time, just E to extrude. Left click to lock that in. I'm going to press S and scale this right down. Okay, and left click to lock that in position. Okay, now I'm going to press Control Plus and slowly reselect this piece we're working on. And press Invert the selection by pressing Control I and pressing H to hide that selection. I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button. And I'm going to press Z and left select Solid. Okay. And that's not looking too bad. Okay, I'm going to press Alt H and just bring everything back. I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, his. I'm just going to come back over here to the subdivision surface and put the views back to one for a minute. Let's have a look at this here. I'm just going to come over here, press Z and left select solid. Okay. And it's not looking too bad. I might just zoom in here and press and hold Alt and try and reselect that. I might just select this edge here. Just drag it out slightly. Press Z and reselect. Okay, I want to select the second row of edges here. Just gonna press Z and left select. Just gonna press S. Scale that down slightly. Okay. Okay. And that should do us for this tutorial. I'm just gonna press Control S and save that. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello 
and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I'm going to just continue modeling the inside of his mouth. I want to just add a tongue. Okay, so I'm going to press 3 for side view. I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe. Okay, I'm going to come over here to front view and press Z and left select wireframe. Okay, I need to change to face selection mode. So I'm going to press control tab and left select face. Just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, what I want to do is... Well, actually, what I can do is just press control tab to make this easier. Left select edge mode. Press and hold alt and select the bottom of his the interior of his mouth I'm going to press control plus okay and I want to invert that selection so again I'm going to press control I and press H to hide okay now it's a little bit easier to select pieces that I want so I'm going to press control tab and left select face okay what I want are the bottom faces here so I'm going to left I'm going to left select this one here and these two here. Okay. I'm just going to press 3 for side view. Now, what I want to do is press E to extrude and just extrude these up. Okay. Left click to lock that in. I might just grab this and drag it forward slightly. Okay. I'm going to press E to extrude again. Just drag this up, left click to lock that in. I might just drag this again, drag it forward. Maybe just slightly down a bit. Okay, press R to rotate. Press, come over here to front view and press S and X and just scale these out in the X axis. Okay left click to lock that in just grab this drag it forward okay i might just press r and just rotate this back slightly i'm going to press s to scale y for the y axis and just okay i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around have a little bit of a better look i'm going to press z and press solid shading or select solid shading. I'm just going to have, okay, that doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to press Control I just to invert that selection and press H just so I can see the top. Okay, that's not, that's more or less the shape that I want. I want to, when I click back on, yeah, that's fine. Just going to go back to one view. I'm going to press Alt H. Now, unfortunately, that brings back everything. So I'm just going to press 3 for side view. I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe. I'm just going to press A to deselect. I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate. Okay. I'm happy enough with that tongue anyway. So that's going to do me for this tutorial. I'm just going to press Control S and save left click okay so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time goodbye hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series okay today i want to form the gums for the character so we can start adding teeth i'm going to press Control tab and left select edge selection mode. I'm just going to roll in here and press and hold alt and left select the bottom of the interior of the mouth we modeled previously. I'm going to press control plus and increase that selection. Okay, I'm just going to press Z and left select solid. Okay, and I'm right up to the the edge loop at the back of his mouth okay and that's what i want okay now i need to invert the selection so i'm going to press ctrl i and i'm going to press h to 
to hide that. Okay, now I'm going to press Control Tab and left select face. I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button. I need to select some of these faces here on the top and just going to press and hold the middle mouse button and do exactly the same thing down here. Okay, I'm going to press 3 for side view. I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe. I'm going to press E to extrude and right click to cancel that. Okay, I'm going to press S to scale, Z for the Z axis and just drag these down. Okay, to where I reckon the gums should be. I'm going to left click to lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to press Z and left select solid shading. Okay, I'm just going to have a look, quick look at these. I might just press S to scale and Z and just bring them down a little bit more. Okay, might be a little bit too much. I'm going to press 3, press Z and wireframe. I might just bring them in a little bit more. Press S to scale, Z for the Z axis and just Okay, scale that in maybe to about here. Left click to lock that in. Okay, and press Z and left click solid. Now I'm going to press Control Tab and left select edge selection mode. I'm going to press and hold Alt and select this front edge loop. Okay, I'm going to press Control Plus to increase that selection I'm going to, and then I'm going to press control tab and left select face I need this front face selected I need to hide this so I'm going to press H okay and that allows us to see the gums I'm just going to select the top of the tongue here and just drag it back slightly okay so I'm just going to press 1 for front view now what I I'm going to press A once or twice to select all of this. I'm going to press P to separate and left select selection. Okay, now I can just press Alt H and bring everything back. I'm going to press Tab and left select object mode. I'm just going to select this piece here and I can just, I can rename it here, just double click and rename it and press enter. I'm going to select the character and just press H. Okay, and that allows us to see this piece and we can start adding teeth in the next tutorial. So that's going to be it for this one. I'm just going to press Control S and save this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I want to start adding teeth to the model. So from object mode, I'm going to add a separate object. So I'm just going to press Shift A and under mesh, I'm going to left select cube. Okay, I'm going to press S and scale this down. Just going to come over here and press 3 for side view and just drag this forward slightly. I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to press S and scale this down. Okay, just drag it down. Come over here and drag it forward. Just going to press S to scale. X for the X axis and just scale that in. I'm going to press S and just scale it down. Okay. Just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in and get a rough position where I want to place this. Okay, just gonna press S and scale it down maybe. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to object modifier, the object modifier panel. I'm gonna left click add modifier and left select subdivision surface. I can put the views up to two and check optimal display. I can check this here just so we can see it in edit mode. Okay, so I'm going to press tab and left select edit mode. I'm going to press control R, just put an edge loop in here and maybe just drag it up slightly. Control R again, another one here. Okay, 
and I might just press S to scale X for the X axis and just drag this out. Just drag this.